It's time for another Q&A. Here's a question that's been posed to me, and it's a really tricky one, actually. It's, uh, you know, what about those people who never hear of Jesus? You know, what about the guy who's in the darkest, deepest jungles in Papua New Guinea, cut off from civilization? You know, how could a God, uh, a loving God, condemn someone to hell who's never even heard of him? Well, it's a tricky question, so let me unpack it. And there's basically two schools of thought, two ideas behind this. One view is that, you know, if someone were to throw themselves upon the mercy of God, uh, not knowing what basis that mercy was provided, then that such a person would be in the same situation effectively as the Old Testament believers. You know, the basis of them being accepted would be on the, you know, the finished work of Jesus, uh, even though that person is not actually conscious of, uh, of that being how the provision has been made for their salvation. Others would hold a second view, you know, they point to Romans chapter 10, verses 13 to 15, and then verse 17, which says this, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? Faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. And then they point to Acts chapter 4, verse 12, which says this, there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So apparently knowing this Saviour's name, his identity, is necessary. Now I wouldn't really be drawn on either view, but if you assume the second view, then it'll make you more eager, won't it, to tell people about Jesus. And uh, you know what I would say is that if that second view seems unfair to you, then the answer will be to, you know, just remember that God's perfect love and justice far exceed our own. You know, whatever he decides will be loving and fair. In any case, you know, many people are just asking this question because they're trying to seek some kind of personal loophole that gets them out of needing to uh, believe in Jesus. And C.S. Lewis, the great author that uh, many people have heard of, I'm sure, had a great comeback for this in his book, Mere Christianity, where he wrote, If you are worried about the people outside of Christianity, the most unreasonable thing you can do is to remain outside yourself. You know, the point basically being that, you know, if Christianity is true, then uh, the most logical thing for someone concerned about those without Christ's message would be to trust Christ and then go tell them about him. So our task is to take him at his word and trust his heart. You know, as Isaiah 55 points out, his ways are higher and different than ours. As Psalm 119 and Romans 11 points out, he needs no counsellor, for he is good and does good. And as Genesis 18 points out, the judge of all the earth will do right. You know, above all, Stir at Calvary, look to Calvary, where justice and love collided. You know, there on that cross, the judge of all the earth hung in our place, creating for us the way to be saved.